Good morning. <clears throat> this is my first address since the uh, evening that I sent an address out after finding my little cousin, Corey Jones. Uh, listen, man, appreciate all of those that reached out. Uh, extra shout out to uh, Mr. Johnson, father of Kendrick Johnson down in Valdosta uh, for reaching out as many times as he did. It's always special to me, man, when the, the family and parents of those that, that I spend personal time uh, helping the fight and the seek injustice on behalf of their family. It's always special to me when folks um, take the time to reach out during our times of need. Um, listen, uh, Corey's, well, first of all, shout out to Mom Dukes, uh, attended a luncheon of hers or in, in, in honor of her and other uh, outstanding individuals who fight through their disabilities uh, and excel in the workforce. Uh, Shout out to Mom Dukes for looking, staring pharmaceutical pimping in the eyes and overcoming it. Uh, we don't have to go back into that story, but it was just a blessing uh, to see the, the totality of the, the struggle. Um, Corey's services will be in Virginia. I'll attach information to this post. Uh, they are going to be one week from today uh, in Virginia. He will be laid to rest next to his brother in Virginia, uh, Charlie Enrique Jones, a.k.a. CJ. Uh, Corey's death was a result of a blood vessel bursting in the, in the brain and dying of severe hemorrhaging on his, on his brain. I don't have to go back into my last post. There are some things that are contributors to that. But listen, I'm sending this post out not only for the information of my little cousin slash little brother slash son. Uh, I'm also sending this post out to those of us who are the shoulders in the family. Those of us who get the call uh, in multiple situations and circumstances you know where does the healer go to get healed uh i want you to understand something man finding that young precious tender age of 29 uh cousin slash brother slash son finding your loved one's body after 12 to 15 hours of him being deceased, the contorted nature uh, of your loved one's body. You know, parents ain't supposed to bury their children. So a shot goes out to Sharon Coleman McCarter, who is now in the process of burying her second child. But your loved ones ain't supposed to, your cousins ain't supposed to find your baby cousins, your little cousins, who's definitely died at 29 as a, as a young man. But, uh, you know, that's a memory that will that will be ongoing. <clears throat> you know, I don't knock anybody for how they cope with things. Uh, but sometimes when I listen to the, the struggles of others, I think to myself, damn, man, well, you couldn't handle a fourth of what I'm going through. Uh, some people in this world are just burdened and blessed with seeing more than others. Um, so to those shoulders, man, find some type of outlet uh, to the to, to the ones in the family who when shit gets thick, you're the one that gets the call, uh, find you an outlet. Uh, I've got comrades in the struggle <clears throat> who take sabbaticals uh, and get their self and their mind recharged. I wish I had that luxury. I don't, uh, not at this point in time. Um, so to those of us, find your outlet. Um, shout out to my oldest son, man, uh, who came down the other day. Uh, spent the day with his little brother and me. Uh, those uh, many don't know, but uh, they were developing a very close relationship, only four years apart in age. Corey was 29, my oldest is 25. There was talk about possibly uh, roommating together. Uh, so this death has hit him hard as well. Uh, shout out to my little man, 
Amon, Chase Amon. At age 13, I had to have a serious talk with him because we've had family members that have passed. Before I move any further with that thought, uh, shout out to the family of Gene Coleman. We had a funeral for the uh, wife of my grandfather's brother, Gene Coleman, uh, out in Tennessee. That took place Monday. So as we had a funeral in our family Monday, we're preparing for another one next Friday. So shout out to that family, that extension of family. But I had to share with my youngest son. Oh, let me rephrase. My youngest son got his first true in-depth understanding of death because he was old enough to really have a relationship with Corey. Uh, I told you I like to use everything as teachable moments. Uh, that was tough. Even as I'm posting, man, I just don't feel, you know, all the way right. Uh, when I'm having a good time, I think about, you know, the death of him. And, you know, that's just a part of the grieving process. But, you know, Corey knew me better than most, man. And because of that is the reason why we keep pushing. Uh, so I say that to say this, man. For those who took pause with me prior to my cousin's death, for those who don't like me or couldn't stand me, you ain't going to be able to stomach me now. I'm just in a no-bullshit, no-nonsense attitude. Ain't got time to play around, man. At 44 years of age, those of us that graduated high school around the, the early 90s, me being 92, hey, man, statistically speaking, we have more years behind us than we do in front of us. Now, of course, healthy living uh, and everything that falls up under that umbrella can extend that. But the truth be told, if you ain't, you better start living. 